Okay, so here what we want to do is we are going to add a contact from process or from Airtable over to HubSpot. And the way we're going to do this is uh, when a record appears in view. And so I've created a tag. Um, and basically I just took this data that's in, and conformed it to where I want this person to go over there. And I made a field uh, for add to HubSpot and then a filter only show me contacts where they have the action tag add to HubSpot. Okay, and so every time you, this, the zap will fire every time a record appears here. So I'll put the first one there for uh, demonstration purposes. So let's go to make a zap. And then the, the name of this, um, we will say add uh, contacts from Airtable to HubSpot, okay? And so we're gonna say Airtable and choose the trigger event. We're gonna say a new record appears in view, continue. It's gonna ask you which Airtable account. You'll probably only have one, I have multiple. Which base, so our base is gonna be our contacts. Um, excuse me, our base is going to be simple solutions database and then the table will go to the contacts table and the view is going to be hubspot and so we'll hit continue at this point and it's going to pull in a record hit test and review and you can see it's going to say pull in record a you can see that it's grabbing the information that's fine so we're going to hit done editing and now the next thing we want to do is, what are you looking for? So we're going to hit um, create or update a contact. Continue. So the first thing I have to do is sign into HubSpot and grab my credentials. Grant access. Okay, so we're going to continue at this point. Now it's going to allow you to customize the contact in HubSpot. So um, I haven't done this in HubSpot yet. So uh, it's going to say the contact email. We're going to map that. The date of birth, I don't have any of that. So I'm just going to grab the stuff that I know I want to go over there. So I've got work email down at the bottom, contact email, we'll probably leave that just the same, and I'll put both of them there, whatever it's worth. So as I map these over, I want to put, I want to see if I can split up his first name and last name here. Don't know that we have it split up that way. So we may just do full name. Yeah, so we'll just leave it there at full name for now. And then the mobile phone number. And for the main phone number, um, and these are all going to be your personal preferences of how you want to put this in there. Mailing address. So there's a place to put the photo. I don't know. We'll try to send it and see what happens. 
company name. And I don't know that I've got it visible. Here it is. Yep, company lookup. And we'll just hit continue. Test and continue. Done editing. Turn on your zap. And now, just to check and see, let's log into HubSpot. And let's see. Did it added it. There he is. Did not bring over his picture, which is fine. But hey, it's better than nothing. Very cool. So there you have it.